Hi, Golden Life family. Welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? Today, I'm coming to show you how we can use our food processor effectively. So you can see I'm holding the base and the base has three section parts. So you just put it at the dry surface place and you see when you try to lift it, it's stuck, isn't it? That's the assurance that it gives. And that is the hopper. So you just put it there straight away. That's how it goes. So it's V shape. So the V goes with the V. The V goes with the V and you just put it there. So sometimes it's hard to lift it, but don't forget when you are lifted, you can hold that side and you hold here, then you just lift it. So very, very, very simple. And it's also when it's new, you will struggle to lift it. So please put it at a secure place so that it will be easy for you when you want to lift it and clean it. So when you are not ready, you can just put it in inside your cardboard or you can just put it like this and just leave it. So, so beautiful. So it really gives a lot of space in the kitchen. Right. And you can see this. So it's called the finger guide. So now there's, a, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, edge here and there. So you just gauge it and make sure it will go through. So you make sure it has just gone through that. So let me see. Yeah. That's perfect. So let me bring it up. Let's say it's dirty. You want to take it up. You just push it like this. So sometimes when you push through, you can't be ro you might be rushing, and one side can fit and the other side will be hanging there. So all the time you have to make sure it goes straight, it goes through it. It goes through it, then you just push through. So that one too is sorted. I hope so. It has uh, five sharpie cones. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have the slices and we have the shredders. So you can cut up to 240 different size cutting. So if you are watching me, you don't have our food processor machine, please contact me, yeah? Because we need to end this. How you can end it, I'm going to show you. So now, the next thing I'm going to do, if you want to put this, here, you can see there's a hole here and there's a knob there. So you just lift this, lift the handle. So you lift it. So it goes clockwise direction. When you're taking it out, it's anti-clockwise. So clockwise direction, then you lift the handle. Then you married it nicely with the uh, cone. Can you see it? So now if I want to take it, it's anti-clockwise. So clockwise, when it went... Clockwise here, you make sure it's connected very well when you put through. So you see it's stuck. So anti-clockwise, clockwise when you put through, anti-clockwise when you remove it. So it's very, very easy and simple to use. Okay. So now most people, if you like to eat your yam. So let's say now if you want to make your yam fufu, you can go for this cone. Or if you want to slice the yam. You can go for this one. So now you see it's stuck. Then see how I'm going to cut the yam. So this one is the yam. I've already peeled it. Yeah. So now today I'm going to do some yam fair. What do you call it? So with this, look at that. If you want to cook it, it cooks very fast. Those that they like a uh, yam fufu or uh yeah, the yam fufu. You can slice it like that. And even if with this, you want to fry it like a plantain chips, you can also make your yam chips. So you see the way it comes out is so beautiful and very, 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 very fun. So we show people that you save 50% of your kitchen time. So when you get a little bit here, you just throw it here. We call it feeder. Where we put the radish, the garlic, and the ginger. Today you're going to see it. So we don't waste anything in our kitchen. So it's beautiful, isn't it? So I'm bringing another cone. Let's say if you want to make it more tiny, tiny, tiny. Or let me go for the cone number two and see how it works. 
So that's another cone and see how you're going to cut my yarn. Can you see it? Okay. So today I'm going to cook. I just want to do my mashi yam. I like the mashi yam. Yeah, so I'm just making my mashi yam. So depending on what you want to cut, you can choose any cone to cut it. So that's the yam. So now you see how we do the yam chips. You can also do your plantain chips as well. There as well. So now that's the yam. Okay. So ginger, we don't peel it. We don't peel the skin. We just wash it and takes all the dirt. So now I'm using cone number two. Yeah. So see how you're cutting the ginger? Beautiful. So those that they want to drink the ginger tea, wow, it's the best thing for you. So you see, it does everything. So it depends on the cone, uh, the, how you want to cut, then you can choose your cone to, you know, to cut it. So now... I'm cutting my ginger and you can bring everything out. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to show you the next thing we can cut again from here. Okay, so I have my mushrooms here. So the mushrooms, you can throw it here. See how it goes. It's coming beautifully. Or you can also hold it. So you hold it and you lift your hands, your palm like that. And your palm needs to touch here and it's there. So you see how it's going? So when it lifts a little bit, you can just throw it in there. So I still have some mushrooms in there. So I'll just show you, you, you can do it in a tube form. So that's my mushrooms. So you can cut all your mushrooms there. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what you want to cut. Then you choose the cone that you think is going to suit you best. Okay. So now we have a tomato. It's not mushy. It's very hard. So let's see if the same cone can cut the tomato or if it's too big. So now this one is too big. I don't want it um, the way it's coming out. So I'm just going to take it out. Then I'm going to try the cone number three. To cut my my tomatoes so with the tomatoes you can just put them here you can just put them there so don't forget to lift the flap all the time you put them there then you close the flap and see how it goes you see the way it's cutting beautiful isn't it yeah i have one that's already fall in so let me bring it out just put it there i still have some there so you press it hard then it goes like that so now i'm cutting everything out it's amazing it's amazing so it does everything for us in the kitchen yeah and i also have this here the bell pepper so i still want to use the cone number three let's see how you're gonna cut wow so you see can you see where my hand is touching? This there. Mm -hmm. Because it's very sharp when your hands touch it. It's going to catch you. So then you make sure that you won't enjoy yourself. It makes life very, very, very easy. And very, very, very simple. So now my palm was just there. Yeah. So that's my... Um, my peppers. Okay. So now another thing we're going to cut again, still cone number three. I love the cone number three, just to cut my onion. See how you're going to slice. So with the onion, you can cut it to you. You can cut it to you if it's very big or you can just put the hole there. Please don't put it like this. It depends on the way. If you want it round, round, then you go for that. But just see, so it goes like that. Then press it. See how the onions is also going very very nice and very very simple yeah so now i've also gotten my onion from the cone number three so the cutting is very very, very quick very, very very easy and another thing i want to show you again is this that's carrots see how i'm going to cut the carrots okay so let's say now i'm tired with that so i want to I want to try another cone. 
yes so i'm just taking another cone that's cone number four and see how you're going to slice the carrot but it is beautiful you see the way it's cutting the carrot so nice so beautiful like i say it depends on how you want your veg to be cut okay so that's the big the the big size and you can see i have my um cabbage yeah i'm using the cone number four see how it's coming out so it's good for coleslaws if you're doing your coleslaw you can also cut your 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 this thing there so it's beautiful isn't it and you know most people throw the cord away but that's where the nutrients and the vitamins are so we don't throw them away you can you need to break everything and salad master make it very very simple so now nothing was wasted you can see wow okay so i'm taking this cone and i just want to try with another cone cone number five and see how it's going to come out so that's a purple cabbage see how it's going also so it's going to come out so you see so there's a difference between i just need a little bit of that there's a difference between the white cabbage and the purple cabbage yes so when cutting right so so how are you finding it so far let me see your comments yeah okay so another thing i'm going to cut again is uh, my uh, my garlic you know basically when you want to do garlic it takes time for you to you know, do it one at a time isn't it but see how quick with the help of my salad master so let me take this one out then so that i can get the garlic and take the 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 skin out okay. so now that's the garlic so i just took a little bit of the skin and see how we're going to cut you don't need if you don't have time to you know clean it see how you're going to cut so you put it here then this is my palm it goes on top of this whilst at the same time the garlic is in there you see the garlic is in there so you just press it a little bit and the, it just does the job can you see it you need to come closer so that you will see it so can you see the way it's grating it's coming out so nicely so that's stress free can you see it imagine if you want to grate this how many uh, minutes is uh, if you want to take the skin out how many minutes it's going to take you so then i'm going to throw the rest here i'm going to throw the rest here because i don't want now some has already come out so i'm just taking this out right i just throw the rest there then i put the flap on then it goes so now those i will be it will be difficult for me to take it out it's already coming out so that's from the garlic uh -huh. so now when it's happening like that you just take only the skin has already come out you just take only the skin out it makes life very 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 easy right so the another thing take the skin out so the skin everything is showing you so you just remove it imagine if you have to peel this how many minutes it's going to take you that salad master really makes life so easy so simple for you the kitchen right so now another thing i have here is the butternut squash yes it's very 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 good but you know it takes a long time to peel so with the help of our salad master you can put it here so that's you you, you scoop it so that it will be easy for you to go through there and look at how it's going to work for me you see the way it's coming out very beautiful then you can hold it hold it hold it wow is it not wonderful oh la la va va voom. you see how many seconds did it take me to finish all these things and you just rub your hands in wonderful so um if you want one please call me dm me I'm going to show you how you're going to get it so far as you are in the uk that wouldn't be a problem at all at all at all 
at all at all at all to help us to change more lives oh i forgot i forgot so let me also okay so now we are coming to grate our cheese yeah why you need why you need salad master food processor today i'm going to show you you know basically when we buy the grated cheese you can see it's thick it's puffy but look at this one right? how it's going to make it so thin so i'm just using cone number one wow isn't it amazing and you just need a little bit a little bit a little bit in the body this this is why you need salad master in your home now 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 so you see the way uh, the cheese just came out so beautifully let me bring everything out it's so beautiful isn't it yeah yeah so nice so nice so that's the grated cheese look at that look at that so it's so beautiful all right so the next thing i'm coming to do is to show you how we we can do the the celery you know the celery the strength in the mixed digestion very very difficult so when you grate the celery let me but whichever cone that you want just throw it here and see how you're gonna come up so if you want the cone you want it's beautiful wow so you see Mm -hmm. all right let me just bring everything in i forgot to show you this so when you when you cut in your cabbage it needs to face this direction it needs to face that direction the reason is that if you if we when if we face here it all everything will scattered but when you face that direction you just hold it and you hold it, then it goes. You see? So never ever cut your onions or your your cabbage. Uh, when you're cutting the onions or cabbage, it needs to face that direction, not this direction. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Let's uh, uh, chat on the comments below. Let us know. Let us see what you want to witness again in our next cooking school. So guys, don't forget to do your recommendation. DM me, I'm going to show you how you can end this. I'm looking for more ambassadors if you are in the UK. So let me hear from you and stay blessed. Thank you. Um, everything is done. So I'm just going to you hold here, then you tap here, then you pull it. So now I'm going to wash this, dismantle it. So it really makes life easy and simple. Thank you.